Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa and I'm a cruelty YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content and today I am testing out a new palette. This is Sprinkle a Little Magic, I guess it's called, or the Tinkerbell palette from Colourpop and it looks like this. So I, I do really like this color story, I d am not a fan of Tinkerbell, we can get into that later. Um, so yeah, I think I just will do a video on this, I don't know if it's going to be like a normal first impression or if it's going to be get rid with me, we will just not get rid with me. Okay, I will just bright my eyes and then we get started. And like, I don't know, do you want me to try to make longer videos? I know that. <laughs> me myself I love to watch longer videos but it feels like my videos right now are like 10-15 minutes only so okay the Tinkerbell palette one thing that I didn't know about this palette I don't know if I can be able to show you and one thing that I don't like like all these gold things it's like glitter on it and it feels like that is going to get everywhere and it is the same on the back around the shades and yeah I don't know and you maybe want to close up on the palette I think it looks so so cool for being like a color pop palette but okay I'm going to do a look with this and I'm going to I think as normal <laughs> I want to be do some be I want to do something dark and I think I don't want to do it so much green so I think I will take big magic in my crease and then take okay <laughs> I don't want to be it so green and I'm going to take two green shades but I think I will play with these colors but yeah I guess I'm just going to get started and okay Tinkerbell. <laughs> if you didn't know this about me, this year I decided to watch all the. Okay, I just need to move my glass. All the Disney movies, all like the classic Disney movies, and Tinkerbell. She's a bitch. I. I do not like her. I don't know what I wanted to say with that. I still support her with buying this palette, but Tinkerbell, I do not like her. She's just so freaking annoying. But the palette <laughs> it looks really good. It's so much more fun than I think Colourpop's normal collab palettes are. And uh, because I think they're pretty boring when they're doing collab palettes. We like Disney and everything. So, yeah. Now it's out there. Okay, this was a really nice shade. And about, like, length of my videos. What do you like the most? Me, myself, I love to watch longer videos. So I can do, like... I like to do something... When I'm watching a video, maybe like do the dishes or clean my makeup sponges and the brushes or do some bullet journaling or something. And I like longer videos or sometimes I watch them in bed before I go to sleep. And I know that like my videos right now are pretty short. I think they are around like 12 minutes. I think it's my normal length of the video. But that is just like I have been feeling the latest. Oh, I didn't take the plastic on Miro. M Miro? Miro. That, like, does anybody even want to hear me talk about nonsense when I'm putting on my makeup? Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But please let me know what you like. And I will try to do that. If I have something to talk about, I don't know. 
Okay, I do really like this shade. It's a really nice shade. And I like that it's a little bit deeper like in my crease and then it fades out a little bit. So that was big magic, this one. So now I am thinking about going in with Awake. This dark matte green and then take place between on my lid. And then like between these two, I will go in with Neverland. I think that might be good. I feel like sometimes Colourpop are really good with doing darker shades. Okay, I think, I think this is good. Or I think that Colourpop, <laughs> I think that Colourpop, they have a really good price point and it is a little bit more expensive for me to get it to Sweden because I have to pay taxes and whatnot. But um, I think they are, it's still a good price because makeup in Sweden is kind of expensive. But I really feel like they are so, some Colourpop palettes are amazing. It's like the, one of the best palettes that I have in my collection and some of the palettes mm, aren't super great so and they do their own palettes in their own factories so I don't know why they don't succeed to do all the palettes good but so far this palette is good I tried a power puff palette for not that long time ago and I was not impressed. I like the shimmers from Colourpop. Some of them are amazing. Just like amazing. I have some shimmers in my collection from Colourpop. That is like the best shimmers I have ever tried. And then they have some shimmers that are so, so bad. So now I will go in with a place between on the rest of my lid. And hopefully this will work. It looked really good when I swatched it. But you should never trust the finger. Okay, it does look really good. I don't know if I maybe want to go in with this pixie dust in my inner corner. But I think I will take this place between on my whole lid or on this space and then Spray pixie dust, maybe? I don't know. Is this a good shimmer or is it not a good shimmer? I think it is a good shimmer. I don't know if I maybe should leave like a little rim here and then go in with Neverland. I actually think that I will do that. So I'll do the same thing on this eye. Okay, do you know what? I actually do like this. I'm going in with my little color swift from Odin's Eye. This is like a blessing. I <laughs> I had an old one. I don't I don't know why I'm showing this because this looks disgusting, but like Can you see the difference between them? Do you see how like worn out this is? I don't know why I don't just throw this away. I haven't done it. But this, I do love this. I do love me a good color swift. Okay, so now I will go in with Neverland in um, between these two. And blend them together, hopefully. If Neverland will come up to my brush. Okay. This Neverland is not like... It's more like a metallic, I would say. Because like a place between. It had a little bit more of chunks in it. This, this is more like 
um, yeah, metallic maybe. I don't know. Okay, going into my little color swift again. I guess it's not a color swift because I guess color swift is brand name. And then I'm going in with place between and just take it a little bit over here and over here. And then I'm going to the color swift. No, I do not because I have a brush for this. I just have a little bit of the dark matte green and the smudge. And then I actually think that I will go in with my crease brush with no additional product and just swoop it here. It looks better on this side than on this side, I think. So maybe I just dip, tap, and swoosh. I think this looks good, but I think, I really think that I want to take pixie dust. Maybe I should swatch it. Yeah, I want to take this one in my inner corners because I think that it's going to look so cool. So I will fix my base and fix my ring in my ear. Um, fix my base and then we can do the under eyes together but I fix my base and okay I do my under eyes but then we can do the inner corner together and really like see how it will look with this. I think I want to spray a brush with it just to really have control over it. So I will fix my base then I come back. We do the inner corner together and I will see what I feel. Right now, I do really like this palette. I think this looks really good and it was really easy to work with. So yeah, <laughs> I will fix my base. I say that for like the eighth time now in a row, I will come back. I thought that we can do the under eyes together, like the whole under eyes. So I'm going to have my hair up in this thingy. I'm going to take it down later. So I have hair, like I'm soon giving up on taking away cat hair. So I think I will try to open the palette. Um, go in with my crease shade and okay, I think I found cat hair in my nose. Uh, okay, I will go in with my crease shade Big Magic on my low lash. My tipping it down with Awake and then we're going to spray Pixie Dust and take it on my in my inner corners so okay time for big magic again and i did really like this color i thought it was a really nice color to have in my crease and i'm guessing it's going to be a nice color to have on my lower lash as well and it feels like one of these colors that I can use, like I can take a lot and it won't look super, like I can drag it down on my lower lash and it doesn't look super wrong. <laughs> I guess the cat hair has like wandered up my nose. I like don't even want to know how much cat hair I have both swallowed and inhaled. Sometimes it feels like a whole cat inside of my body. Do you other cat people or maybe dog people as well feel the same? Please tell me yes. Yes, I'm going in with the dark matte shade, tap it off and just take it just out here. Just to connect and I'm going in with a little bit at a time because I don't want it to be too harsh. Okay, it just has to be like that. So now I'm going to take pixie dust and spray it and trying to not get it in my eye. It's always like go good on this side and then it always became a mess on the other side. I don't know what I'm doing. 
Why did I drag it down so much? Poop. So I don't know what I want for my waterline if I want to take a bright green, but like, do I have any super bright green like that? No, I have more like these kinds of bright shades. Bright shades, bright pens, but I should have maybe this one. Okay, I will pop something on my waterline, put on mascara, something on my lips. I think I will try to match it. I'm going like for a neutral lip life. I don't know what's happening with me. Uh, match it with my crease shade and maybe the shimmer that I have in here. I will see. I will try to finish this and we will see what it looks like. So for my waterline I took Peach Fuzz and on my lips I took Kaleido Dune. Dune I took. Did I really? Or did I take... Jesus, which one? I was planning on taking Cyan, I think. Yeah, but I did take Dune. I'm pretty sure. I was just applying it. Okay, so this is my first impression look with the sprinkle a little magic with the Tinker Bitch. And uh, yeah, I do like this look. I think. When I was like thinking that Kaleidos Colourpop was going to do a collab with Tinker Bitch, I was like, okay, that is going to be a fun, pretty toned down palette. But I think this is really cool. And it is a lot of shimmers. It's only four mattes and five shimmers. But I really like this look and I like the shimmers that I used. Um, this is more like a metallic, I would say, and this is more of a shimmer, but I do like this look, and this was a really dark, nice one, so yeah. I'm just like, I'm buying a lot of green palettes right now, I have the Tinker Bitch palette, yeah, that's her new name if you're wondering, Tinker Bitch, and then I bought so many things, Urd from... Odin's eye. I'm just digging here in my pile. You can see maybe Astrid instead. And I also bought the, the Child palette from Colourpop. I haven't used it yet. And, and Super Shock Shadow in Fruit Punch. That is a really green one. I'm dying to use this one. Can you even see a shit? This one. It looks amazing. So... Yeah, it has been a lot of green things, but I do really like this look and I think this is a fun palette and Why don't you do this palette like when it's not a collab because I'm guessing this is limited edition I don't know if it's still available Now in October I have a no buy so I'm not like even into color pop checking what they have and don't have but yeah, I do really like this look. I think it's it's a good look. I don't know if the green in my inner corner looked as good as I wanted it to do, but I do like this look. So yeah, this was everything for this video. I really hope you liked it. And if you want me to try to do longer videos, maybe like 20 minutes instead of like 12 minutes, please let me know. I can't like do every video long. Because I don't have that kind of an interesting life, so I can talk on and on forever. But yeah, if you want me to do longer videos, please let me know. So yeah, that was all for this video. I really hope you liked it. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!